Hey guys, it's Landon Blake at Redefined Horizons, and what I want to do in this short video is just introduce you to some survey guidelines that we're releasing online, and we're going to be working on these over the next 12 months probably, so we'll be updating this webpage, but we've got some guidelines up there now. They're, they're not perfect. They're not 100% complete. We've got some edits to make, but uh, I'm hoping they'll be useful to people. You know, they're, they're, they're not going to be a perfect fit for every organization, but, you know, they're meant to be inspiration <laughs> as, as much as surveying guidelines can be inspiration. But, you know, for younger surveyors that are trying to figure out how to come up with uh, written guidelines to govern their, their work and the way their team works, I, I hope this helps. So what I want to show you first is uh, what, what makes up a typical guideline. For us here at Redefine Horizons, so the, the first part is always uh, the written guidelines. Then we sometimes will have a workflow, and then we'll we'll at times have uh, templates and checklists. So let me show you. This is what the written guidelines look like, and these typically follow the same format, roughly the same format. So we always start by telling you what is it. Uh, why is it important? So in this case, what is boundary research? Why is it important? Then we define based on the structure of our team, who has what responsibilities, you know, what roles have what responsibilities when it comes to boundary research. We talk about peer review that needs to be done. Sometimes there'll be a, a, a section here about schedule. And then we generally have a short written description of the workflow. So these are the written guidelines. Uh, then, depending on how complicated the subject matter is, we'll have a workflow. So this is an example of our, our boundary research workflow. Uh, people often wonder why boundary surveys are so expensive. <laughs> this is a good illustration of that. This is just one step in a resolved boundary. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine steps. And these workflows also all follow the same format. So they'll have the step in the workflow. Then they'll have a box for each role with the task that person's supposed to perform in this step and then we have a couple boxes at the bottom that list either the work products that come out of that step or the checklist that are supposed to be completed. Okay, so that's what the workflow looks like. Uh, then we'll have uh, supporting templates. So for example, this is a boundary research log set up in Microsoft Excel. So some of these uh, work guidelines will have uh, templates. Then we have checklists. They call me the checklist Nazi. I use checklists a lot. So here's an example of our general boundary research checklist that's supposed to get filled out. Okay, so that's what these look like. Let me show you where you can get to them online. So if you come to our, our main website here, redefinehorizons.com, and you come down here to odds and ends, and then go under survey guidelines, this page will come up, and then you can see the guidelines here are separated by section. So field surveying guidelines are here and boundary surveying guidelines are here. That's what we have on right now. We'll, we'll add to this over time. And then if you just click the link, you can download the PDF. And uh, we're making all this available for free. So there's no charge. We, we hope that it helps improve the practice of land surveying. So I wanted to, to just do a quick tour video to show you guys that. Uh, I hope you enjoy the the guidelines, uh, please reach out to us if you want to help uh, either proof or develop the new guidelines, proof the existing guidelines or develop the new ones. I've linked to the Caltrans survey manual here, but certainly there are other guidelines out there, I'm sure. So if you let me know, I, I've got a section here where I will start to list those. It could be guidelines by state associations or by other you know, companies or organizations. So please let me know if you have examples I can link to on this page. And that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it.